Today, the best player from each nation will be representing their country in a single elimination first to three goals tournament. Until there's only one nation left to be crowned champion. And our first matchup is gonna be Van Dyke representing Netherlands against Pulisic representing USA. Here we go, we have our first match here, Van Dyke against Pulisic, who will take the dub. I got my bets on USA, man. I'm an American, I gotta support them, but we'll see what happens. Van Dyke steals it just like that. The Netherlands could have themselves a goal here. It's looking promising. Here we go. And Van Dijk nails it upper right. The Netherlands are now up one goal and USA is going to be playing from behind. But here we go. Pulisic, he takes it. He's running. We might have a chance for USA. Come on. Oh my gosh. Time has ran out and that's game. Van Dijk and the Netherlands are now going to be moving on to the next round. However, on the other hand, unfortunately for USA and Pulisic, it's going to be the end of the road here. So they are now out. But the next matchup is going to be Messi representing Argentina against Mac Lauren representing Australia. Yeah, I'm not sure who Mac Lauren even is, but we both know how this game is going to go. Okay, yeah, Messi's good at football, and he's moving on to the next round. And we now have our first matchup for the second round, as we have Messi and Van Dijk who have already moved on. But we'll see how that plays out later. It's time for our next matchup, boys. We have Modric representing Croatia against Japan, who is represented by Daichi Kamada. And maybe we'll see Daichi Kamada lead it upside here. Alright, here we go. The game has officially started, and the keeper's just kind of standing still here. Modric is pressuring, though. Ooh, Modric! Modric is penalizing him! And Modric takes a shot and it goes through his legs, bro, for the Meg. Oh my gosh, the time has ran out. Mata, who is representing Japan, is now eliminated. And Modric, representing Croatia, will be moving on. It's shown to be evident that if you are the better player, you are going to win in this tournament, as Messi, Van Dijk, and Modric have taken the dub. But in our next match, there's going to be no underdog, as we have Neymar, representing Brazil, against Human Son, representing South Korea. So this game should be very close. Ah, right, come on, man. Let's see who takes the dub here. You have Son here. Son Son's passed! Son with the goal already, what? Bro, Son hopped on the bed and chose violence. That's one goal for Son in South Korea, but here we have Neymar countering for Brazil! It hits the post, but it goes in on the second try. Dang, bro, I knew it would be a close game, but not, I did not know it would be this close. Neymar, now going for a second goal. Neymar! Neymar Cito! This guy's a goat! The topo! Oh my gosh, bro, the keeper for South Korea cannot save it. That's a goal for Neymar and Brazil. However, this one, Son would have a chance. Son! Son! Son with the goal! But Neymar would answer back quick. Okay, now Neymar and Brazil have taken the dub. Game was very close, but Neymar is not done, bro. As he is now moving on to the next round to play Modric. Well, it's already the end of the road for Son. This is interesting, bro. We have a lot of players who are very solid still in. But let's get into our next match, which is Kane against Sadio Mane. However, this game would start very high scoring. Okay, it's tied 2-2 and one goal will win it for either nation. Here we have Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane with a banger to the left. And that's it, boys. Sadio Mane is going to be moving on to the next round. But next up, boys, we have Mbappe versus Lewandowski. And Mbappe is probably going to win this, but we will see. Okay, we have the lob to Mbappe. Mbappe is through. If Mbappe hits this, France is up one goal. And he nails it in. France up one. Mbappe would capitalize on the one goal lead. Mbappe. Going for two. And with a simple tap in, that is a goal for Mbappe. Time is running out. He's gonna need to get a goal soon. He flicks up. Oh, no way, bro. That flick was crazy. Lewandowski ain't giving up yet. Not gonna lie, he gets the style points from that last goal. That was sick. 25 seconds left. Lewandowski needs to do something now. He's pushing up on the keeper. Oh my gosh. Oh, the keeper's getting hacked. Oh, off the post and it gets in the second time. Okay, it's tied up two to two, boys. And there's 10 seconds left. Oh, Mbappe's close to the goal. He takes a shot and the keeper doesn't save it. That's game. Not gonna lie, that was the best game yet, but Mbappe is moving on to the next round. And Lewandowski, even though he had that crazy goal, is going to be getting eliminated right here. All right, man, the picture of who is going to make it to the second round is pretty much clear now. We only have two matches left in the first round, and it's looking to be playing out like real life as the underdogs are getting destroyed by their opponents. Here we go, though. Our next matchup here is going to be Battle of Pedri representing Spain against Hakimi representing Morocco. And I'm going to put my bets on Hakimi, man. He's a stud. But here we go. Morocco is starting with the ball. And we have Hakimi taking a shot. And it goes in off the board. Dude, if Lewandowski's flick up goal is not the best goal yet, that goal is definitely the best goal yet. As it went off the bar into the goal. You have another chance for Hakimi. Okay, the keeper does save this shot. Hakimi is going again, though. Here we have him running and Pedri is trying to catch up. Here we go, Hakimi. He takes a shot. Keeper's down. Here we go, that's a goal. And that's going to do it, man. 
The older player is taking the dub here. Barranco's moving on. And here we go, boys. We're now into our last match here, which is the GOAT Christian Ronaldo against Jan Sommer. And I know last time when I said, maybe we'll see Dodge Kamada lead an upset here. The result was far from it, but maybe here we can see an upset. Okay, yeah, never mind again. That is our final game of the first round, though, boys, and we now have eight players left. And there really has not been any crazy upsets yet, as we have a lot of very solid players still alive. We do need to continue onward, as we still have a lot of games left to get our champion. And kicking it off for the Elite Eight, we're gonna have Van Dyke against Messi. Okay, Messi is starting with the first chance here. He might be through. Come on, man, can Messi score for Argentina? Yes, he can. Argentina is now up a goal on the Netherlands. Messi is through again, bro. Why is he so slow? Messi! Messi can score here! Bang! Upper bins by Messi. They are now up two goals. Messi for the third! And that's it. And after the third and final goal for Messi, Argentina had taken the dub. And bro, none of the star players are again taken down as we now have Messi moving on to the next round. Taking down Van Dyke. And just like that, boys, we have one of our final teams in this tournament. But we still have to find out who the other three people are gonna be. But let's see if Neymar can move on to the next round as he's going against Modric. Oh. What a pass to Neymar. Neymarcito, maybe getting an early goal here. The keeper can't do nothing against that, bro. We now have Modric making a run. Modric, oh my gosh, I thought that was in, bro. Neymar again, might be through here. The game's on the line, and he's banged it in. Neymar takes the dub for this one. Wow, bro, yet again, the expected player is taking the dub here as Neymar moves on to the next round, and Modric is getting eliminated here. However, next match is going to be another chance for the underdog to take the dub, as we have Sadio Mane going against Mbappe. And to my surprise, right off the bat, Sadio Mane would show to be put up a fight against the GOAT Mbappe. So here we go, Sadio Mane with a good footwork already. Sadio Mane takes a rip. Sadio Mane pressing up on the keeper. No way. He bites it. He hits a post. Oh, no way, bro. That was so close. Mbappe now might get a goal to capitalize on that mistake here. And he does. That is so tragic, bro. Sadio Mane almost got a crazy bike. And it now resulted in the goal by Mbappe. And upon Sadio Mane missing his two opportunities, Mbappe would capitalize again. Mbappe and France are now up two goals. This game is over. All right, man, Mbappe's moving on, and we're now getting a pretty clear picture of who's going to be in the final fours. We have Neymar, Messi, Mbappe, and either Ronaldo or Hakimi. And just as I thought, the better player would have another easy match. This is when Hakimi would have a great game against Ronaldo. Here we go. Oh my gosh, Hakimi's just taken from the keeper, and he bangs it in right off rip. There is no way, bro. Ronaldo might actually lose this game. And upon Hakimi playing great defense for the rest of the game, he would end up getting one last shot to put the nail in the coffin. Here we go, Hakimi! Oh, okay, he doesn't get that one, but this game's over. Bro, there is no way Hakimi just advanced into the final four. Ronaldo is definitely not the goat after that. Well, let's just hop into our first final four matchup, Messi against Neymar. It's all coming down to this, man. Whoever wins this is going to the championship. I got my best on Messi, man. He won the first 10-9-9 overall against Ronaldo, and we have Neymar taking a shot, but it does get blocked. Neymar's looking to get an opportunity to take a shot here, but Messi takes the ball just like that. Messi's almost into the box. Here we go, and he shoots it, and he scores. Messi dribbling here, going for numero dos. He might shoot from deep, and he does. Messi with the outside of the foot shot. And that's gonna be it, this game is over. Bro, Neymar, I really want you to come out on top in this one. That is not gonna be the result as Messi is moving on. We now have one of our finalists in the final match, but we need to find our second player who's gonna be in the championship. And our options are Mbappe and Hakimi. And while Mbappe is definitely the favorite in this match, Hakimi did just beat Ronaldo, so anything can happen. And boys, this game has gone to penalties. Nobody was able to score. Here we go, Hakimi's taking the first penalty. Will he make it? He bangs it in. All right, Mbappe's turn now, come on. He also hits it in. It's one to one. Come on, man. Someone's got to win. We have Morocco's keeper. He doesn't make it. Now it's time for France's keeper. Mignon. Mignon bangs it. It's looking very promising for France as they're one goal away from taking the dub here and going to the championship. But here we go. We have Hakimi. Everything on the line here. And he hits it in. Mbappe can now win the game if he hits this shot. The fans are supporting him, but he doesn't hit it. Now it's time for Morocco again. Morocco's keeper. And he does bang it! Now France is in jeopardy of losing this match, and Hakimi would go to the championship. And we have Magnon taking it. And Magnon does not make it, meaning that Morocco and Hakimi are now going on to the next round. Wow, bro, no way! Hakimi, the underdog, is making it onto the next round and is going against Messi in the championship. Listen, man, Messi won in real life, but Hakimi has taken down some very viable opponents in Ronaldo and Mbappe. So if anyone's going to take out Messi, it's Hakimi. But without further ado, let's get into the championship of the 1v1 World Cup Tournament. We have Messi starting with the ball. He's making a run on Hakimi. 
Messi with the shot, but it does not go in. Come on, man. Who's going to win it for their country? Messi! Messi takes it and gets a goal. It seems like Messi wants it more as he just got the goal on it for Argentina. Messi takes it again and gets another goal. Messi's up two goals. There's no way, bro. It's looking like it's over for Hakimi. He's going to have to do something here. He is now down two goals. However, Hakimi has fought through the odds as he's taken down Ronaldo and Mbappe earlier. He's not ready to give up yet. Oh my gosh. Messi to win it. Oh my gosh. I thought that crossed the line and we now have Hakimi taking a chance here. Hakimi. Hakimi with the grounder right into the bottom right. He ain't done yet as his fans are celebrating for him. Whoa, those fans look like NPCs, but except for that, that was a good goal by Hakimi and he is now down one goal, but the time is not favoring Hakimi here. Pass back to the keeper. The keeper makes a mistake. Messi taps it in, bro. No way. The keeper just sold for Morocco. And that's it, boys. Messi's gotten three goals. Hakimi fought hard, but not hard enough. As Messi and Argentina can now be crowned the champion of the 1v1 World Cup tournament. It's becoming clear that Messi might be the GOAT man. If you want to see if he's the GOAT between him and Ronaldo, click right in the middle of the screen to see him and Ronaldo race to 99 rated.